first off, my eyes are red. Wasn't nobody crying about this game. Uh, <laughs> my eyes are red. I've been looking at the screen all day, working, had class virtually too. But um, what a horrible performance from Daniel Jones. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it, man. Like, Daniel Jones lost us this game. The referees helped him. Uh, but both of them together pretty much, you know, did the, you know, put their fists together and lost us this game. Uh, the referees made some horrible, horrible calls. And it seems that these calls keep happening against this team. Uh, but, I mean, you don't even want to put it in the referees' hands because they're obviously going to screw us over every time. But Daniel Jones, we're up what? I don't even know the score. It's like, it's ridiculous, man. Like at this point, it's ridiculous. Daniel Jones is, he's lost. He's clueless out there. You're running backwards. You're running around and you're forcing weird, stupid interceptions, man. You're throwing the ball where it has no business going. And I predicted us to lose this game. I thought we would lose this game. But Daniel Jones, he lost us the game. It wasn't because the Bucs were the better team. Today, the Giants were the, were the better team. Like, the Giants were literally the better team out there on the field today. Missing Will Hernandez. Missing Ryan Lewis. Like, literally with... With a scrub at the second cornerback, we were the better team. And Daniel Jones, with his team playing better than the opposition's team, lost his team the game. The Bucks, I don't know what was going on with them, but they were off all day today. They were literally off all day. Their defense was off. Our pass protection was perfect, pretty much. They gave a couple of jail breaks, but for the most part, our pass protection was perfect. The defense was holding Tom Brady and those weapons that he has and that running game, they were holding them to almost nothing. We forced Tom Brady to kick, what, three, four field goals, and we lose the game. Our offense moved up and down the field. Jason Garrett did his job. Pat Graham, they scored 25. There was a couple of plays I didn't like because he rushed two defensive tackles. And at that point, what do you expect to happen? They're not going to get to Tom Brady. But uh, for the most part, I'm okay with Pat Graham. Joe Judge had the team ready out. He had the judge. Ah, oh, look at me talking. Joe Judge had the team ready to come out and fight for 60 minutes. And they did. But we had a guy that was fighting against us on our own team. There's no way that he thought that those were good decisions. We laughed at Carson Wentz yesterday for doing the same thing. Daniel Jones doesn't care where he throws the ball. He doesn't care where the ball is. The dude is, he didn't fumble today, but he did turn it over. Like, he just, he just loves to do this. He's really great at it. He's second all-time to Ryan Leaf in turnovers uh, this, far into, this far into his career. Like, he just loves to just throw the ball away. I just don't get it. He stopped throwing the touchdowns at the same clip. He stopped making the plays at the same clip. He made a perfect throw to Golden Tate in the back of the end zone. But you have the missed throws that he made today, which he almost never misses throws. But today he was missing Slayton. Wide open, Slayton was there. He didn't see him, and he threw an intercept to the other side of the field. Shepard. Uh, I thought he missed him, but actually Shepard slowed down on his route. He stopped on his route to, to look back for the ball. But there were just many other times where Slayton was open and he didn't get the ball to him. Whether he missed the throw or whatever happened, he did not get the ball to him. I just don't understand why this dude keeps doing this. You make these spectacular throws and then you, then you mess it up. Like, it's like he's building a house of cards, and then he just comes and just drives a car through it. Like, Giants fans, we dealt with this to a lesser degree with Eli. All the Giants fans that came out and, and called Eli, you know, Mr. Turnovers, or here's another Eli interception. Don't you wish you had Eli now? Don't you wish you had Eli? 
because Eli Manning coming off of vacation, coming out of retirement, if he suited up today, we win this game. We win the game easily. And that's, that's what makes me the sickest, is that this is a game we should have easily won. Because I kept waiting for the Bucks to be the Bucks and step up, but they never really did it. They never really did it. The referees helped them out a lot, and they, they never really stepped up. And this was the perfect chance for the Giants to steal a win that they had no business making. Now, at this point, I don't want to win this sorry division because whatever team wins this division is going to be picking in the teens or in the 20s. And what's the point of that? What's the point of picking in the teens or the 20s when you obviously need a lot of help on your team? So at this point, I don't really want to win the division, but these are games that we should be winning, man. Like, I shouldn't have to sit this long and not see wins. This is the second game in a row where there's a Giants player that absolutely destroyed his team. Evan Ingram last week, Daniel Jones this week. Who's next? This coaching staff, I love this coaching staff. They're full of beasts. They're full of beasts. Everybody on this coaching staff, they're doing a great job. Jason Garrett was horrible at the, at the beginning. But he's gotten better, way better. But these players, they make me sick. I mean, they make me sick. But I'm going to get out of here, man.